Oh, I'm going to do a, another video here about, um, he just got off the wonder of the seas, and that is, we're going to talk more in depth about the crowds. Um, I'm going to surface by saying that, you know, we know ship, the mega ship is going to be crowded, so it's not like that. It shouldn't a shock surprise. you when you get on one. Though. So, you know, we're not going there thinking it's COVID times where you're going to get 50% full. So I know one thing <laughs> you said and my mom said as well was that it was too crowded. And I just want to know what exactly do you mean by that? I, I felt like, I mean, the simple thing is everything we did, we had to wait for. But, I mean, you know, like, you know, you wait for an elevator, which that's standard. You wait for the kids to, to you know, Ride the slides at the splash pad. Yeah. You know, you then you get on the sky climber, and and you know, there's twenty kids in there. Yeah. And you know, everything you did there was, and you, it was hard to walk because there were so many people. You know, you walk the Royal Porinot Promenade, you stop and you get hit by five people. You know, it's yeah. almost like Black Friday shopping. You know, to where like there's just people everywhere you go. The only place that you got away from people was your cruise ship cabin. Yeah, and that's one thing. The walking thing is stuff that I, I don't think that's that's a little. You don't see that a lot, like mm. I, like you like you expect the certain areas on any ship to be crowded. You don't pull by sea. Oh, you expect the buffet but, to be crowded. Yeah, but like you don't expect walking to be. Yeah, a and crowd. you know, and it was just it's everything you do, and whether they're okay taking pictures on the Royal Promenade deck for formal night. Yeah, a complete zoo. I mean, you got, but you still only got one Royal Promenade. You've got yeah. one staircase. And a photographer on each one in the line. It was the worst line for taking photos I've ever seen in my life. And on the celebrity and carnival, I felt like we both walked up to them. Like, would you have to wait for like your hot dog places and things the like that? The hot dog places was rarely busy at all. That was probably the least crowd I've ever seen. But buffet was a zoo. Uh, pizza, you usually waited to two or three people, but it it really moves quick. So that no complaint. Not like carnivals where you have to wait ten minutes for a slice of pizza. So <laughs> except on the celebration last time, it was shockingly not the so case. They're, so. they're they're rolling them out there for free for right now. So. But yeah, that was what I felt like. Everywhere I went and moved, you know, waited. If you go to the dining room, you had to wait for the dining room. Yeah. Five to ten. We didn't book the reservation because we didn't know what time we wanted to eat. Naps, tired, this, that, and other. So just for everything I did was crowded. Yeah. But then the <coughs> the confusion thing is that the shows, which you think would be crowded, were 50% full. The shows, we were never even checked at a single show to see if we had a reservation made, which we did. But they, there were so yeah. few people there, it did not matter. And I know that's something like you see a lot, like with a carnival, like your certain <clears throat> areas, like your comedy shows, and oh, Lord. like things like that are just crowded. So I gave up attempting those. Yeah, it's so just like it's it. just a shock that like I mean, there was were, that empty. Yeah, and, despite the crowd on the yeah, show. Yeah, and even like the but the thing is too, the Aqua Theater they should do it a lot. But it holds a lot of people, and you know, it, it just we didn't even get checked for that. And I believe you said it wasn't hundred percent full. No, no, there were seats available. I mean, no, like far as like on the ship. No, we, I think there were sixty four hundred people, and I think it can hold seventy two hundred because it, you know, ships can sell above hundred percent capacity. Yeah. If you've got a family with three or four in a room, you know, you're going to bump up capacity. Yeah. So, but no, it was not full, and it was not. There was a lot of kids there, our our son's yeah. age, toddler age, but schools in sessions. There wasn't many. School age children, yeah. so they were. Tell, someone told us there was two thousand kids the week before, which <laughs> there was seven hundred this time. Like, there's no way I could have tolerated that. Yeah, and that's <laughs> something that I feel like there's a divide in that. And like in general, we're both. You know, he and he is people that like the newer ships and the mm -hmm. Mel's and the Russells. But if you're somebody who don't like the big ships and you don't like crowds, this may not be a ship for you. Well, I, I feel like, too, though, that all these bells, whistles, the things that you go on the ship for after the first day or two, it kind of wears off and you get over doing that, and yeah. it's more on to the standard cruising stuff. Oh, that makes sense. You know, we're yeah. like, okay, it's great to have a roller coaster on the carnival ship, yeah. but I'm going to ride it once, and I'm probably not going back on it again. Right. And it's still going to be back to food, crowds, relaxing, show, the general yeah. cruising, and that's the stuff that's going to be on every ship. Yeah. And toward the end, the last two sea days, we just... Ate, walked around, relaxed, did this, didn't do anything you couldn't have done on a standard ship. And now, do you think if you're the, some people would just like to lay out mm -hmm. in the sun and or go to a bar and drink, do you think that would be, the crowd would hurt that type well, of person or not as much? We were banned from the solarium, <laughs> which apparently a lot of people don't buy by those rules. 
uh, but that's another <laughs> touchy subject. So I think there was always seats there, but it was unbelievably hot in there. Like there was no circulation. The windows seemed closed, and it felt like a sauna in there. So you could have got a seat there up top in the sunlight, but I don't have no desire to do that. The sheets, in the, you know, the places in the shade were crowded. The bars, I mean, we didn't even go to them. I mean, like, not even, we didn't have coat packages, nothing. So, I mean, like, they seemed, they weren't too bad, I didn't think, but there's a lot of them. And so. remind everybody what you said the weight was for the main dining room on average. We would get there, and it would be 10, 15 minutes to get a table. But mm -hmm. then, it, you know, it would be about a two-hour hour, two hour experience. So that was, uh, I assume that's a little longer than you would like. It, with a four-year-old, yes. <laughs> um, you know, our parents did the main dining at lake seating, I believe. Yeah. And they said it took 45 minutes. So, And that could be a traditional versus any time. I think it is because more people gravitate toward any time. And there's less people in the main and other dinings, and that's why the faster service. Yeah. Um, so, you know, that's just a video to explain more in depth what that means. And, you know, that doesn't mean you don't book the cruise because it is a crowd, but just be prepared. They're all crowded. <laughs> Yeah, I, feel like, I feel like most people, it's the husband that doesn't want the crowd and the people. So, you know, just be aware that that is probably going to be selling, an issue. Yeah, most ships are selling at least 100% capacity. Uh, like and subscribe. Yeah.